Well, the Arkansas House has approved legislation that would allow educators in the state to teach creationism in science classes as one of the possible origins of the earth. Bailey Devane explains how this would change Arkansas education across the state if it does become law. House Bill 1701 says starting at the kindergarten level, educators can teach creationism, which is the belief that Earth and life came to exist through divine creation to students. Republican Representative Mary Bentley authored the bill. In the House meeting, she argued the science behind creationism. A few of the scientists that they would like to discuss are Sir Isaac Newton. We know Sir Isaac Newton for the law of gravity. He believed in God and biblical creation. Galileo was an Italian astronomer, physicist and engineer and he believed in God and biblical creation. However, opponents say creationism is a matter of philosophy and does not belong in a science class. Why would we do this when the Supreme Court has repeatedly ruled that it's not that it is illegal to do that. In 1981, Arkansas House Bill 590 passed, which mandated the equal treatment of creation in science classrooms where evolution was taught. But that was ruled unconstitutional in 1982, following the federal court case McLean versus Arkansas Board of Education. Bentley says she has enough support to fight for the bill if it's contested. I mean, I think religion and philosophy, but not science. I've actually been working on this in a while just to make sure the wording was correct. They believe very confident they can defend us in court, and I've got teachers that would like to use it. Bentley says she wrote it after science teachers in her district asked her for a way they could talk about multiple scientific theories about origin in the classroom. I think students have a lot to learn, and those I just think that those teachers that wish to um, discuss those scientific theories should be able to in class and add that to the debate. I think students can gain a lot from it. That was Bailey Devane reporting House Bill 1701 has to move through the Senate before becoming law and signed by the governor. It was passed by the House by an overwhelming majority.